Annika here from easysewingforbeginners.com. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your sewing machine to be able to use a twin needle and also um, show you the types of results you get from using a twin needle as well. Okay, so before we get started I'm just going to go through um, what a twin needle is and then talk about the, um, the different numbers that you'll find on the packaging as well. So a twin needle is a needle that has just the one shaft at the top and it has a two separate needles coming off it like so. Okay. This particular one is a universal needle. And for the sizing you'll find that um, there's two numbers. So the number at the top refers to um, the type of fabric that you'll be using. So if you're using um, a heavier, thicker type fabric, you'd probably go for a, a higher um, size. So if this twin needle, um, twin universal needle size 80, probably used maybe just your normal um, cotton type fabrics. Um, if you were use, uh, sewing a, a knit type fabric, uh, maybe a t-shirt, jersey type um, knit, you might go the twin stretch and this one's a size 75, it's a little bit finer um, material. And the next number underneath uh, refers to the distance between the needles. So I think um, you can get these from 1.6 millimetres in distance right up to 6 millimetres apart. Um, so these particular ones, these needles, both of these are 4 millimetres apart. Okay, so hopefully that helps you with working out what type of needle you might need if you want to use a twin needle. So now I'm going to show you how to set up your sewing machine to use the twin needle. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to put your twin needle into the sewing machine. So you'll notice just like a normal needle, um, on the shank of the needle there'll be um, a flat side and there'll be a rounded side. So you need to make sure that flat side is facing towards the back of your sewing machine. Okay, so I'm going to insert the needle up into the needle bar as high as it will go. And I'm just going to tighten it by hand. And then just tighten it a little bit more with my screwdriver. Okay. And now my sewing machine is ready to thread up. Okay, so now we're going to thread up the sewing machine, ready to use our twin needle. So what you can do, some people recommend putting uh, your thread on two different spool pins. Um, I find that I get the same result if I um, put them on the one spool pin. So if you've only got one spool pin available on your sewing machine, then it should be okay. Um, I've got this removable one here, so I'm going to just use that one for demonstration purposes. So there's no reason why if, um, if you're using the same colour thread, then you can use um, a thread, thread that's on a bobbin and the thread that's on your spool. Okay. The important thing to remember is just to decrease the chances of them, of the threads getting tangled and um, crossing over. Um, it's a good idea to try and get the um, threads to come off the spool pin in opposite directions. Okay, um, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use two different colours. So I've got my purple and my pink here. So hopefully you can see. I just bring my spool pin a little bit closer so you can see better. Okay, so on my spool pin, I'm going to put the purple thread on. So the thread is coming off um, on the left and then I'm going to put my pink um, thread on so the thread is coming off on the right hand side. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that in. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is just thread my um, sewing machine like I normally would, so following all the thread paths. So through the top, go through my tension discs there, up and under, and through the take-up lever there, making sure that the thread 
It's going through the eye or that hole in the take up lever at the front there. Okay, and then I've got two thread guides down the bottom here. Hopefully, you can see that clear enough. But I'm going to put this purple thread through the first thread guide and then through the second thread guide down here. Okay, and I'm going to grab my pink thread there and then do exactly the same thing. So just go over the top. Okay, through the take up lever. All right, this time what I'm going to do with the pink one though is I'm just going to put this pink thread through um, the top thread guide there. And this will just um, stop the threads from getting tangled and crossing over a little bit more. Okay. Um, what I'll do now um, is I'm going to thread the needles. You probably don't want to watch me do that because it might take me a while. Um, and then I'll show you these this twin needle in action. All right. Now you can see I've threaded uh, my twin needles there. And I already had the thread coming up um, from the bottom. So I have the two threads from the top and one from the bottom. I'm going to grab all three of those threads now and place them towards the back of the machine like I would if I was normally sewing. So now I've just got my machine set up on just a normal straight stitch and I've got it on a 2.6 stitch length. And I've got some calico here that I'll use to show you this foot in action. Okay, so just like you usually would, I'm going to, I've got my fabric doubled over here, I'm just going to place my fabric under the foot there, roll my presser foot, and off I go. So this will be creating two perfectly parallel lines of stitching on the top side and when it's finished I'll show you what it looks like um, on the underside as well. Okay. Okay, so there you can see I've got my two perfectly parallel lines of sewing there. And then on the back there, you'll see, um, I don't know if you can see it, but the bobbin thread is going through the middle there and it's catching both of the top threads there. So it's creating kind of like um, a zigzag stitch. So uh, this stitch is particularly good if you're using your stretch materials because it does allow for some stretch as well. This material isn't very stretchy, so, but um, it would be a good, um, stitch to use if you're hemming the bottom of a t-shirt or something like that. I think I said that before. Um, Alright, now if you find that the fabric is bunching up together when you're sewing, you might want to um, maybe try um, degreasing the tension, so loosening the tension a little bit, or you might like to try a little bit of um, stabiliser underneath as well. Now the good thing about the double needle is you can use this to do um, decorative stitches as well. So I'm just going to show you one of my decorative stitches right there with this flower one. Now one thing I like to do before I actually start sewing is it's a good idea to check to make sure that the needles um, are going to go um, in between, are going to actually go in the hole that's there on the foot. Uh, if your needles are too far apart and you're doing a decorative stitch, it could get caught on the foot and snap your needle, put your timing out and do all sorts. So you want to try and avoid that where possible. So I've got my flower stitch and I'm just going to, I might pop it just as close as I can get, I'm just going to put my foot down I'm just going to use my hand wheel and turn it towards me. And I'm just going to keep on looking and as I'm doing the stitch just to see if the needle touches the sides of the foot at its widest point. So I can see there that it's pretty much, it's pretty good. All right. Okay, so that's safe. 
Um, you might find if you're using um, a six, um, a twin needle with a six millimeter gap um, on it, you you might find that you will come um, will come across some problems. So um, it's probably safest to just use um, a four millimeter um, twin needle if you're doing your decorative stitches. Okay, so let's see how this turns out. Oops, get that out of the way. And off I go. There. Anyway, you can see when you use the twin needle for your decorative stitches, it does come out quite nicely. Um, on the back there, it doesn't look the best. Oh, I think I caught my threads there. Anyway, yeah. So once you know how to use the twin needle, it's not so scary. Um, if you have any questions or comments about um, using a twin needle, then um, feel free to leave um, your comments or questions down below um, and like the video if you found it useful and don't forget to share it with your friends as well. Thanks for watching.